welcome back to Texas Water Fishing. I am Ruben and we're out here fishing just before sunrise. We ran into a little bit of wind, ran into a little bit of rain, and I'm out here fishing with Steve, yep. Steve from State Farm. Ribbon. Check out his oh. information. All his contact information is in the description section of the video if you're looking for an insurance agent, agent then hit Steve up. He is a great guy. Uh, we're out here looking for some flatties. Now, it is October 30th. We only have today and tomorrow left before flounder season is officially closed. Uh, during the flounder run, you know, flounder will move through this area in great numbers. We're in a corridor just between Pelican Island and the Galveston Island. Um, as the sun starts coming up a little bit, I could tell that the water clarity is a little, little sandy. It's not too bad, but um, it doesn't offer that great water visibility that I do like to see out here in this uh, ferry channel, if you will. Now, this is one of the, the few corridors that flounder will move through and uh, migrate, migrate through. And we're just running up and down the shoreline, up and down, uh, fishing from bulkhead to bulkhead and from spot to spot, rock to rock, uh, trying to locate some of these flounder and hoping we can find them moving in good numbers. Now, after they move through this area, they also will move throughout the south and north jetties right there in uh, Galveston, the Galveston Ship Channel. And uh, so we're we're really looking hard for them. I'm throwing some gulp, white gulp, pink gulp, uh, white shrimp, pink mullet, and natural shrimp. Uh, we even have some, even stopped and got some live shrimp as well. Uh, so we can fish with that just a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're coming up with blanks, coming up with zeros, running into some small, under, some, uh, small undesirable fish, pinfish, ribbon fish, and until, uh, until Steve, he got into a little bit of hot streak right here, throwing um, live shrimp underneath a uh, small hook, a couple split shots, and a fluorocarbon leader. Love you all up. Yeah. And, oh. There you go. There you go. You got somebody. Yeah, something, right? Oh. Hey, it's a mangrove. There you go. That's a nice one. There you go. That's a nice fatty for nice a mangrove fatty. out here. The mangrove god. That's what hit me earlier. It, they hit hard. Got him? Ain't no flatty. Yeah, another one. Another mangrove. Hey, that one's a bigger one. That's a good one. Man, how you catch all these mangroves, man? Yeah, mango That's king. a nice one. That is a nice one. That's a mango king. Look at you. You got another one? Yes. Yeah, hey! What's up, Steve? Steve smoking that mango. Oh, yeah, he keeps. He's smoking that mango. Well, we, we hit up and down the channel. Uh, just not seeing the flounder like we would like to during this time of the season now talking to a couple of people a couple of locals that have been fishing the area um, the last several weeks and talking to the uh the crew there at the marina is that maybe two weeks ago or 10 days ago uh you were seeing flounder move to the area in good numbers um people catching a limit here and there and then last week that kind of dwindled down to maybe catching three two to three slot flounder with a handful of undersized one and then that dwindled down even more this week till just like completely and totally kind of shut off uh, i did have a patreon fan uh, patreon viewer subscriber carl friend carl he was over there fishing off the wall just before pelican island uh, this morning and he ended up with a nice 16 inch trout and uh, 16 inch flounder 17 inch flounder uh, somewhere in there and then he caught a few other ha uh, smaller smaller little chips uh, some other friends of mine were weight fishing earlier this week and they got into some little chips too uh, but as for myself i didn't pull not one single flounder out neither did steve um, which is kind of surprising because we ran all up and down that channel you know i mean i have the chatter weight steve has chatter weight throwing a get her done rig throwing a single tandem and yeah we're just no weren't seeing any flounder no movement the water level is really high so if you are not familiar with flounder 
Uh, what what they will do is when we get a nice northern front that comes through, it will push a lot of the water out and push the water out of the bays and the bayous, and that kind of forces the flounder to start moving and start their migrating process, as well as the, the temperature dropping. If that temperature drops and the water temperature drops as well, if it drops cold enough, the, if the air temperature drops cold enough, the water temperature drops as well, and that kind of gives the flounder... Uh, an incentive to start moving and start migrating kind of triggers their migrating process process and they start moving through these corridors uh like between galveston island and pelican island we're kind of we're fishing there and then also the corridor between the north and south jetty we just haven't experienced that yet we did have a cold front uh, a small cool front and i think that triggered some flounder um, but I was surprised that we didn't get any residential. So if you're looking at going out fishing, or if I was to go fishing tomorrow, uh, last day where you can keep flounder before the closure, then I would target them into some of the areas that I normally would target them, not really focusing so much on the corridor because they're not actually like running yet. But I will go target them in the bays, in the bayous, in the marshes, in you know, in the intersections, around reefs, grass lines. I will target them more where I normally would catch them, uh, non-flounder run, than uh, then go try to go down there and, and start looking for them and picking them off. But um, yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be a late run. Well, it's already a late run, but it looks like it's going to be a late run. The question is, will that late run hold true um, when we start getting back into uh, flounder when you can open the season back up and you can start harvesting again? Uh, only time will tell. I know last year uh, we kind of had a late run as well, but it seemed like we had like a, a nine to eight day window where flounder just really just dumped out. I mean... Uh, reports from talking to some of the A&M kids last year, they were catching them overnight, catching like over 100. We experienced that the following day where we're catching like into the 80s and, and then um, we caught into the 90s and then we had one day where we caught like over 160 uh, flounders between a, a few of us. So um, it seemed like that time frame, the flounder just opened the floodgates and they completely start dumping out and that was like mid to late November so um curious to see what this year what this year brings unfortunately i didn't bring any flounder home but i did keep steve's mangrove snapper so thank you steve thanks for those i'm gonna try to uh cook those guys and 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 test them up maybe i'll do a little short video with that uh, i'm not too sure but uh thanks for watching don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go to do so like the video leave a comment all that stuff really helps the channel out tremendously and i hope that you have a chance to get out there and get on those uh flatties before uh the season closes hopefully you can find them i couldn't <laughs>